two years ago, President's Day weekend, I was looking for some Civil War flags. But what Robert Warren found was a hidden treasure. So I noticed the, the bottom half of Apollo and Venus, pulled it out from behind the table and noticed on the back of it there was an auction sticker. Here in the flower closet on the balcony level is where the painting was found. It was actually discovered tucked around this corner between the table and the wall. Warren didn't know the value of what he had stumbled upon. I was a little surprised because it's a wood panel painting. I didn't really know much about it, but until I looked at the back of it and I could see the, the webbing, the contents of the front was so badly damaged and there were water stains on it. In a room filled with junk, I had no idea that it was as valuable as it turned out to be. The painting's exact value still remains a mystery. Otto von Wien, the artist, is in every major museum, the Louvre, the Portrait Gallery, the Rubens Estate, uh, and the paintings that have been sold have been valued between four million and 17 million. And there are no plans to sell it. Warren says the painting will be displayed as part of the permanent collection in the Hoyt Sherman Gallery. We have a spot picked out for it. We're just in the process of finishing the installation. And as to why it's remained hidden away all of these years, Warren believes the content of the painting was simply too risque for the Des Moines Women's Club when they received it in the early 1920s. Apollo um, has his tunic lifted up exposing his thigh. Cupid is in there with her arrow. The mountain of love is what she's painting and he's feeding her a tray of oysters. So it's very suggestive. There's jewelry dripping all over the furniture. So. Um, in that era, it was symbolic of before you rose to heaven, you had this you know, earthly epiphany of your soul and, and uh, nudity was the beauty that led you to eternity.